Do you believe in punishment for abortion? Yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. 10 no, cents, 10 you, years, I don't what? know. That was Donald Trump floating the idea that women who get abortions should be punished. Now, that was during the 2016 presidential election. I remember that moment and I remember Trump's statements quite clearly. And he is now singing a different tune, considering that Roe v. Wade has been overturned thanks to the conservative justices he nominated and succeeded in getting confirmed into the United States Supreme Court. Now, he's, here's what he has to say. It's amazing. This was on Truth Social. Quote, it wasn't my fault the Republicans didn't live up to expectations in the midterms. I was 233 to 20. I don't even know what that means. Then he goes on to say, it was the abortion issue poorly handled by many Republicans, especially those that firmly insisted on no exceptions, even in the case of rape, incest, or life of the mother, that lost large numbers of voters. Also, the people that pushed so hard for decades against abortion got their wish from the United States Supreme Court and just plain disappeared, not to be seen again. Plus, Mitch is stupid. I appreciate the last part. The last part was fun. But bro, you bragged about confirming the conservative justices who were going to overturn Roe v. Wade. He bragged about it repeatedly. Again, this is what Trump said. This came out of his mouth during during the 2016 presidential election. Let's watch. Do you believe in punishment for abortion? Yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. 10 no, cents, 10 years, I don't what? know. And now he's turned on the anti-choice movement, which I mean, I love to see it. I love to see it, right? There's no honor among thieves, so I love to see it. And this guy can never take personal responsibility for a damn thing. But just to answer Trump's question, where are they now? They got what they wanted and they just disappeared. What he's saying is they, they're not fighting hard enough for me. Okay, I looked out for them, they're not looking out for me. But when it comes to what motivates them, what they advocate for, which is stripping women of their bodily autonomy, they're still fighting for it. They're trying to get the abortion pill banned. That's where they're at, Trump, congratulations. Thanks for enabling that garbage. But anyway, just to remind you of other things that Trump said. <laughs> He said that the reversal of Roe would happen automatically if he's elected, again, this is back in 2016, because he will nominate anti-choice justices on the Supreme Court. After the Supreme Court eventually reversed Roe, Trump bragged that he delivered his promise. In fact, during a Fox News interview following the leaked draft decision, Trump said he did not think it would have a large effect on the 2022 midterm elections. Here's what his, his exact quote was, I don't think it's going to have a tremendous effect. I will say, I have seen more passion on the right, at least up until this point. I can't say what's going to happen now. So he thought that stripping women of their bodily autonomy was gonna fire Republican voters up even more. And it was actually possibly gonna help the Republican Party during the midterms. Yeah, it didn't happen. Maybe you guys should read the polls. There were many of them indicating that, you know, two thirds of the country not interested in doing away with reproductive rights. But they went for it anyway, because they had this massive blind spot. They were so hyper focused on a small group of religious zealots in the country that they thought, no, this is gonna be a winner. And once it was abundantly clear that it was not a winning issue for the Republican Party, Trump did what Trump does best. He turned on those he was trying to court. He turned on the right wing activists that he claimed and bragged he delivered for over and over again. The guy's a joke, man, absolute joke, but I love to see it. It's super entertaining. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that 
All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.